Okay, we're live at 11.05 via video. This isn't, we can't even broadcast in the booth, so this isn't technically live. It's probably not even video. There is no tape. This is like, we're looking at a phone right now going into the new world, but we may splice this live 11.05 video tape, digital recording into an actual live recording sometime we get the technology, and that will confuse them. We can be doing That's something real. else live twice at the same time. Oh yeah. I wonder if I get any more done that way. Maybe. So this is part two of fixing the floor, hot rod style, show car style on BC with Spirit Cars. This whole I'm live Black 11 5. Yeah, you're Larry the Black Knight. Got a new part of the Spirit BC team. Live with yeah, a team here going on. And uh, so anyway, we're um, part two. So this is on YouTube and it'll be on Facebook. If you look at part one, you, you've seen this was like all open. This is open. It was open back there. Right. So what have we done in the last 24 hours here? Well, we, like you said, we filled all this in. We trimmed and filled all this in back here. Mm -hmm. We built this recess here for the for the hidden license plate. Yep. Here's how this is going to go. What we're going to do this bolt's onto here with some bolts. We're going to go ahead and weld the studs onto it. It's yep. got some holes here, so this will work out good. We can screw that down to help hold it, and yep. then we'll take some bonding material on the inside of the between the, the metal and the thing and clean this all up. And then this will just bolt to turn around just like that. Just bolt to the studs like so. It looked like it. We had more adjustment if we yeah, left the bolts higher. Yeah. You know. And it'll flip down. Yep. It'll be clean. Just get all this cleaned up. Um, something that here's a, here's a tip of the day. If you've got a fiberglass bottle, check it out. All the edges. Sometimes it's got a problem and it's hard to roll in the edges and there's some air in the edges. If you take a, uh, well, if you take a screwdriver, but if you take anything that's like kind of round on the edge and push on it, it's still pretty hard. This is still square. That's going good, but you can see how this is ground out now. We hit that and it has some air voids in there. It had air voids in here. So it, it showed you, it popped them out. The last thing you want is this thing to be painted and all of a sudden sitting in the sun and something to pop out like that. So we, we found those, we ground them out, do that, and we've already done it around here. I don't want to mess up the primer, but we've already checked all these edges before. We're just down to the bottom. Fill this, this will be kind of smoothed in for the, mm -hmm. the uh, secret hidden hinge for the door, the hidden latch for the, the door. Latch. It's absolutely secret, nobody knows about that. Nobody knows, well everybody knows now. Nah, nobody, nobody knows. They're not paying attention. I'm not telling them. So okay. If you reach underneath the door, and, and when the door is in here, just pull the lever over, it won't open. Okay. Oh, I think it Larry the other day. We delivered a car, and it had those latches on it. He was checking it out, but it also had door poppers. Yep. And as he was reaching down, I couldn't help myself. You popped it. I hit the door popper, and I felt bad because the door did swing open and hit him right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and the timing was perfect. He just touched the latch. He thought he did it himself. So, anyway, uh, this car does have door poppers, doesn't it? No. Is it going to? No, no poppers. Okay. Just, so it's just mechanical. Clean. Okay. We just got a cable. Oh, that's right. We don't. And part of the reason for that is you want a super clean look. Yep. Uh, anytime you're running wires somewhere, you either got to hide them or make them look like it's part of it belongs there. You're right. And we we decided this is kind of an industrial mechanical, modern mechanical. Modern thing. mechanical. You and Ada came up with. Yeah, that. When, yeah. When you look at the chassis and all that, and. We're starting to get some good lines there, and this is a, this is a modern mechanical. You got mechanical yeah. parts here, yeah. Although this is electric, but yeah. We decided uh, there's really no wires underneath the car. No. I uh, I had suggested for no reason to put a piece of conduit in here, so you could run wires from one end to another. Um, when you're building the car, think about three or four or five or six steps ahead. So you're not, you know, having to back up. But you reminded me, why are we doing that? There's no wires going right over there, there or something. Right. We're starting to straighten this out a little bit. Um, if you watched yesterday, you could see there was a, a honeycomb material in there. We ground that back a little bit. We're cleaning all this up. This is the cover for the uh, master cylinder goes here, and then it just sits in. 
when the car is turned over, it just sits in and the carpet goes over it. There'll be a little Velcro on the carpet to lift that up. Primer today. Primer today. Paint tomorrow. It's, uh, where do you stop? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like you said, a lot of this you can't see, but it looks so much cleaner. You gotta make it a stopping point. And I'm gonna tell everybody, because they're gonna know now. And now you'll probably make me fix it, but Larry was in here going, there's a little bit more of a hump right here to this than there is right here. Yeah. And he was grinding, 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 going, oh, we're gonna have to cut this out. And I said, well, the frame comes here and it goes that way, and it comes here and goes that way, and it's under the car, and I don't believe anybody's gonna see an eighth of an inch right here. It's not even an eighth of an inch. <laughs> it's probably more than a sixteenth range. So, I vetoed that. I just put bond on it and said, there, it's fixed. I lost. You lost. But it's, I mean, that's how tight you got this thing coming together. Um, it kind of looks a little rough now, but it looked a lot rough yesterday. Surely oh, yeah. in the video you'll still be able to see how much cleaner uh, this is. And the way we did this, when we went and took and made panels, so these are fiberglass panels and we bonded those panels in across here. So it's not just fill, it's, it's a panel that's been filled around that. Um, it's, it's starting to it's get that final look and it starts to feel smooth and you start feeling the smooth. And oh yeah. Down. I've got to admit, I was looking at it earlier going, what, what kind of mural are you going to put under here? I don't know, where are you going to put it? There's no time, I wasn't even going to say it to you personally, now I said it to everybody. But, uh, you know, where would you, where would you see it? I don't know, the wheels are going to be hiding this pretty good. Yeah. You got it. You want to be aware of it. It takes up that whole area there. Yeah, so. I mean, th there's a lot going on here. By the time that, that transmission and your, your, you know, you got three yeah. and a half inch drive shaft. Well, let, let's finish up by showing them what we were doing earlier, what oh. you were doing. Okay. On the Black Knight here. I think Larry could be a contestant on uh, Dirty Jobs. Dirty I guess, huh? Wow. See what we got over here. I don't want to get too close. No, this is just, just came from the jewelry store. Uh, Carter's Jewel Chest. My son-in-law, so it's a plug for Carter's Jewel Chest. And go check them out on Facebook. Check them out. Check them out. Or their website. Or the website. Carter's Jewel King Chest. Pins done here. So we got some king pins. Did some laser etching, and, and he did some pretty cool video of it. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, uh, edit that video and show it to you. That came out really nice. It's all laser etched, and it's even got like a two-tone of black in there. It, it comes out pretty nice. Yeah, these are polished inside the ovals, and then polished top and bottom beam. I just left left the tape on there. Keep it nice for a little bit here until I finish up. So we're we're actually moving ahead, and uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Check it all out. See for your mural, Bob. If the Back over here. Here's your mural shot. How you gonna see it? Yeah. You got ladder bars. You know, training colors. The, the lines are running around, but they're looking good. So. All right. Well, for today, I guess we're showing it off. Starting to. All that stuff that nobody will ever see is being documented. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. Here, you're, you're going to give us coffee break contemplations? And I think tomorrow what we'll probably do, we should have a painted tomorrow. Let's do one more tomorrow. It's Friday. And uh, we'll finish up. And then you're going home. Going home Friday afternoon, yeah. Until you come back again. I'll be back like the middle of August. Man, his wife cooked last night. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Uh, she's from Josh China. Josh does not like Chinese. Oh my, oh, <laughs> it was some of the best stuff we had, and there was so much of it. So we had She made a lot of food, food, didn't she? Yeah, wow. she did, and it was, it was like a Chinese buffet. What do you got? Throwing money in a problem does not create a solution, but creativity and cooperation do. Well, good. I am not throwing money in a problem I have that we were talking about earlier. I'm being creative. <laughs> yes, we're we're going to come to a you solution there, Dr. I. Well, we're going to have fun with you. 
Um, so, what do I got? When people communicate openly and effectively with each other, they are thinking with a larger brain. Whoa. Anybody I think with helps me. I mean, it sure makes me look good because I got one of these little ones that are, it needs a little help. That's my problem too. So together we got, uh, we got a half a brain coming Maybe. together, both of us. All Maybe. right, so that's it for today. All right. We're both dusty Perfect. again. Oh yeah. Tomorrow we'll be dusty with Dirty. primer dust. All right, so for today, thanks for being with us.